And happy Monday to you. You're a history buff. You enjoy that? I thought it was a great story. It sounds like a fun yeah, you class. You should sign up. Yeah. Well, maybe. All right. You should sign up to help these guys out. Well, okay. <laughs> Actually, we all knew where this was going, right. right? We're talking about the Boeing Starliner that took the two NASA test pilots to the International Space mm -hmm. Station. It was supposed to be an eight day ish stay. The capsule, the astronauts still at the space station. But, Chris, finally, there is some resolution. Yep. Saturday, right during the Packers game, NASA <laughs> had a uh, press conference, okay? What were so, they thinking? Right, exactly. So here's what they're saying. The two astronauts who are safely on the space station, but somewhat stranded, if you will. And will also st somewhat cramped, apparently. No, just and that's true. Yeah. That's true. We'll talk about that in just a moment. They'll stay there until February. They will come home in the SpaceX capsule that will be launching hopefully by late September with two other astronauts. Now, uh, it's funny you say that about cramped space. In fact, I'm going to hold that because there's a better part to okay. the story. First of all, I want to show you what NASA actually had to say okay. about all of this, okay? Because bear in mind, Boeing still is not real happy about that decision. They're very confident <laughs> in the spacecraft, but obviously they have their own set We're of issues. We're not sure why, but... <laughs> right, right. So Bill Nelson, the NASA administrator, said a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine, and the decision is a result of a commitment to safety. And he pointed out, listen, we've lost two space shuttles with astronauts in them, why take a risk? Right. There's no need to take a risk. But he said NASA isn't giving up on Boeing. He's 100% certain that Starliner will fly again with astronauts. Okay? okay. Meanwhile, that takes us back to the spaceship, the Boeing Starliner. There it is at the International Space Station. You may recall just a few weeks ago we had mentioned that although it is capable of going on autopilot, the software was not installed before it left right. Earth because they were test pilots. It was designed for the test pilots to pilot it and to pilot Bring it, it back, back down. down. Correct. So Boeing has been uploading the self-driving software, if you want to call it that, and the capsule is scheduled to come back to Earth on its own in September, and it might be early September. Okay. So we'll continue to follow, the, follow right. this. We'll have more for you. And you were mentioning about the cramped, <laughs> cramped corners. I had to laugh. There's a publication called Quartz, QZ.com. And this was really a tongue-in-cheek story. Boeing Starliner astronauts are cleaning toilets and rationing clothes <laughs> while they're stranded in space. In all fairness, I want to point out that there's actually like a duty roster where sure. all of the astronauts take turns doing this. As far as clothing, they each only had two clothes. Changes of clothes? Yes, and in space you don't wash your clothes, you discard them, you put on a fresh pair. But fortunately, just recently, another cargo ship went up and brought okay. extra clothes in there. So everything's okay, but but big question, Chris, is for them, what do you do? I right. mean, all the other astronauts have experiments right. and assignments. What do you do? It's like a five more months of twiddling your thumbs in space. Do we know what they do? I think they're helping out in some capacity, okay. but <laughs> apparently cleaning toilets, <laughs> right? And then this is a quickie. Watch this uh, great animation from SpaceX because this is going to be launching in just hours from now. It's the Polaris Dawn mission. It's uh, civilian astronauts, and they're going to be launching. Actually, I think it's at um, a little after three o'clock in the morning wow. uh, Eastern time. In fact, right there it is, 3:38. It'll be reaching the highest altitude with humans since the Apollo space program. 800. 75 miles up and then they're going to do a spacewalk on Thursday which will be interesting because yeah. they have new spacesuits and so we'll keep wow. you posted there as well hoping we'll for the lots best. Lots of good video from that. We yes. Hope. All right Brad thanks so much. Okay. We'll see you again tomorrow.